they recorded it again, didn't like it. Recorded it with his band, didn't like it. So he calls up the Jimmy Johnson studio and says, I want to buy that tape. So I'll pay your master scale for it, whatever it takes. Doesn't feel right with everybody else playing it. So he did it. They erased all the guitar tracks except for one. His track. Well, Brent, being like he is, they're driving down the road one day and his wife Sherry, who's with us tonight, it's wonderful seeing her. It's going along and the song comes on the radio and says, wow. She says, Brent, did you play guitar? And Brent's like, huh? He said, yeah, that's you. That's all. And they listen to the ring and says, yeah, it is me. So he winds up calling up Jimmy Johnson, and of course Jimmy then said, well, we're trying to figure out who it was that did it. We've got a check for you for playing on it. Brent says, to heck with that. He said, man, I want my name on that record. It's just huge, you know. They said, well, Brent, they've only shipped out about a million of these things, and I don't think they're going to pull them back just to put your name on them. So be satisfied with the check. As Michael Brando will tell you back here, the only place that's important where your name is written down is on the check. <laughs> so, you know, that's, that's a little bit of history. I want to try to see if I can remember, by looking at this piece of paper, those lyrics. And I'm going to sing you what the original lyrics were. And here's the cool thing, too. It was in, Tommy told me this. I didn't realize this. It's got the double piano lick on the front of the record. That was a mistake. They had recorded it, didn't like it, so they rewound the tape. But they didn't rewind it far enough. So when they, I sung it, I didn't know that. And they, when they Bob played it, it was like, well, it sounded cool. It was on there twice. But it was totally a mistake. They just didn't rewind the tape far enough. So they liked it and they kept it. You know.
story to anybody. And except for a couple of weeks ago, David Hood, the bass player that played on that record from Muscle Shaw's good friend of ours, actually produced the album for Jackson Highway, him and Jimmy Johnson. They did an interview with him in Birmingham, and the guy sent me a link, a little email so I could see it. And he actually played the original version that I sang. Well, actually, he played the version that Tom Jones and George Jackson, the guys that wrote it, did. Then he played a little bit of mine, and of course, then he played Bob Seger's and showed everybody how it changed.